Sustaining your collagen in your skin is the number one thing you wanna to try to do to keep your skin looking healthy, starting in your 20s and 30s and onward. And you've likely come across one of the many ways that is said to help boost and improve collagen levels in your skin, things like diet and supplements and even medical treatments. Well, I'm gonna share with you what actually works in today's video. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new and not familiar with me, I'm Chris Gibson, a skincare expert. I've been doing this stuff for 36 years, helping people find skincare that will work for them, not empty their wallet and not do them more harm than good because caring for your skin should be easy, fun, and effective. So if that's the kind of content you've been looking for here on YouTube, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. All right, so just so we're all clear on what we're talking about today, we are talking about collagen in the skin. This is not collagen that is in a topical product that is moisturizing, but too large of a molecule to actually sink into your skin and has nothing to do with the collagen you produce in your body for things like your bones, your digestive system, your organs, your blood vessels, and of course, your skin. When we're talking about collagen production in the body, we are talking about supplementation in the form of collagen peptides. So the number one way that you've probably come across helping to improve, restore, increase, the collagen levels in your skin and body is through supplementation. Keeping those collagen levels up in your skin is indeed very, very important because as we get older, we produce less of the enzymes or proteins that help build and strengthen and protect the collagen that you do have. That of course leads to all sorts of problems like sagging skin, fine lines, wrinkles, even those deeper static wrinkles that we get that form over time. When your baseline collagen levels are high, your skin is going to look plump, smooth, firm, and it won't have lost lost its stretchiness. And there have been numerous studies that have come out over the last several years. And the one that came out earlier this year, which I'll link to below in the video description box, actually proved that there is a measurable difference or increase in collagen levels in the skin in individuals who take collagen supplementation in their diet on a daily basis. Now you can take collagen peptides in many forms. There are 19 amino acids that make up these peptides. Again, building blocks of the collagen that you produce in your body, which becomes lacking over time. Many different brands to choose from out there, but the type that I take are the collagen peptide powder. This is the unflavored version from Vital Proteins. The bottom line on collagen peptides, there's no reason for you not to include them in your diet. They can be very, very helpful. And science is proving the efficacy, and I love that word, of how well they can benefit your body and your skin. The next way to improve collagen levels in your body may come as a surprise to some, but not all, and that is hyaluronic acid. Now we have talked about hyaluronic acid on the channel a lot because it is an ingredient that we see in a lot of moisturizers because of that molecule's ability to attract and hold moisture. So it's very effective on the skin, but it is also a molecule that your skin and body produces naturally. And like other enzymes, as we get older, we do tend to produce less of them. If you live in a particularly dry climate, your skin can be depleted of this particular molecule. So of course it makes sense to use a moisturizer that contains it. But but you can also take hyaluronic acid as a supplement and recent studies have shown that by doing so it really does help improve skin moisture levels. So you might want to take a look at giving your skin the one two punch going from within and without because that molecule also helps in the production of collagen in the skin and the preservation of the collagen and elastin that you do have. So drier skin can lead to a breakdown of collagen just under the upper levels of the skin, helping to increase that sagginess, fine lines, and wrinkles. The other way to support collagen production in your body and improve and restore it is to make sure you're getting enough good old vitamin C in your diet. Now, most of us know that you can get plenty of vitamin C through vegetables, through fruits, particularly citrus fruits like oranges, lemons, and limes. But it's also important to consider adding a vitamin C serum if you don't already have one in your skincare routine every single morning. This is the one I use right now. It's Vitabread 12. It's a vitamin C serum. And what that vitamin C serum does is it helps to protect your skin cells from damaging effects from the environment. That's pollution, irritants, and yes, of course, UVA and UVB light. The benefits of vitamin C serum on your skin are many, including brightening and evening out your skin tone, helping to fade any hyperpigmentation patches or dark spots, and it's potent antioxidant action on your skin to help protect your skin cells from free radical damage and oxidation means your skin looks better, longer, and is producing healthier new cells. Again, I'll put links down below in the video description box for the vitamin C serum and the other products that I use. Now we're gonna talk about a couple of surprising things that can actually help and have been proven scientifically, science-backed, 
to help improve collagen levels in your skin. And the first is aloe vera taken orally. I know we think of aloe vera gel, so using it on the outside of the skin. It is very helpful and healing for things like sunburns and skin irritations. But in eight week clinical studies, when people ingested aloe vera sterols, that's the active component of the plant. There were some pretty amazing things like in general hydration of their skin was much better. The wrinkles measurement of the wrinkles that they did have were less. The levels of hyaluronic acid and collagen in their skin doubled. So again, what we want to think about here is that one, two punch using products that have aloe vera sterols in the actual moisturizer or serum and taking them internally can actually increase and restore collagen levels in the skin. Next up is the herbal supplement ginseng. And this one was a little bit surprising to me. So I did a little bit of deeper digging on this. And actually there are studies that have proven that by taking ginseng orally daily, there was an increase in collagen building molecules in the bloodstream, which meant that red ginseng in particular helped reduce the stiffness of fibroblasts, which are an important part of the structure of collagen actually helping the elasticity in the skin. Ginseng is easy to add to the diet, either in form of a tea or a supplement. But I do want to point out here that before you begin any herbal supplementation, you really should talk to your doctor so you make sure it doesn't interfere with any medications that you may be on. After that is making sure in your diet you include a lot of antioxidant type of fruits and vegetables. Again, antioxidants help protect your body cells from the ravaging effects of free radicals and oxidation, which leads to premature cell death. Some of these free radicals we pick up from the environment, but most of them are actually produced by our bodies during metabolic processes. Simply adding super powerful antioxidant foods like green tea, blueberries, and even things like basil and oregano all can help increase the amount of antioxidants you have circulating throughout your body, boosting the overall health of your body and your skin and keeping it looking great longer. And then this one won't surprise any of you because it's something I talk about here on the channel all the time and that is retinoids, carotenoids, making sure you get enough vitamin A in your diet through vegetables, particularly red vegetables like sweet potatoes, pumpkins and carrots, and even spinach and kale all can help improve the amount of vitamin A naturally that you have in your body because sometimes it's a little difficult to get the right amount from supplementation and taking too much vitamin A internally can actually be dangerous. And then of course applying retinoids or retinol to your skin at night can make such a big difference. I say this all the time, retinoids all the way from your over-the-counter retinol up to prescription strength tretinoin. Really the strongest topical product we have for skin still today after all these years and people that have been using it since their 20s and 30s back in the 80s when it started look amazing. Many of them wishing they had used it other places like their neck, chest and arms. But very recently we've had a lot of products come out for the body that include retinol that can really make a big difference. Retinol attacks the effects of aging from so many different ways. It helps improve collagen production, certainly so, giving your skin firmness and elasticity. It helps speed up cellular turnover, which needs to happen because it really does slow down as we get older, making our skin look textured, our pores look larger, and contributing to fine lines and wrinkles. It helps fade out age spots, hyperpigmentation patches, and keeps them from occurring. And in the case of prescription tretinoin, it has been proven to actually help remove precancerous cells from the surface of your skin. So it's a very powerful ingredient that can do wonders for your skin no matter when you start using it. The sooner the better, but if you're over 40, you should be considering a retinol or even prescription tretinoin in your skincare routine. And then of course, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, there are treatments that you can use now in the home even. These devices that we now have available are able to provide RF therapy, which is radio frequency therapy that warms the collagen cells deeper in the skin layers, helping to increase their production and improve the overall elasticity and depth of collagen in your skin. And also red light therapy devices I'm a big proponent of red light therapy devices. I've been using red light therapy myself for the last three years with tremendously good results, not just in overall skin health and collagen levels, but in how I feel, enhancing my mood, energy, and sleep patterns. So red light therapy, I have several videos on red light therapy, which I will link to below in the video description box for you guys that are interested in that. These type of technologies that are now available in the home are to me the next level 
of skincare that we're moving into now where these type of therapies are gonna be your main skincare routine and all the topical things you do are gonna be secondary. I predict it, you heard it here first. And then of course to top all of this off, it's important to make sure you're protecting your skin from the damaging effects of the sun. I can't emphasize this enough. If you're not protecting it with a sunscreen, some type of clothing, I am notoriously known for wearing hats because I live in Florida. Protect your skin from the damaging effects of the sun. I've been doing that since my 20s. I just turned 59 this March and I don't look it and I contribute about 70% of the reason that my skin looks so good today is that I started using sunscreen so early on. So the sunscreen you need is the one you'll actually use. Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Have I told you, you need to wear sunscreen. And for even more ways to roll back the clock on skin aging, be sure to check out this video that's coming up next. Thank you guys for watching today and supporting my channel. I really appreciate you. Stay beautiful, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you over on that next video.